But I kind of like this. Just wear it as a little jacket. I don't know. The weather didn't call for rain tonight. Nothing. That's so strong as wind. It's gone. It's not forgotten. You say this doesn't happen often. But I can tell that something's on your mind. Hey everyone, so today my mom and I are gonna go to the Salvation Army, see if we could find something. Yesterday's little trip to Hoboken, ooh, the Salvation Army was really, really small today. I do have some things that I do wanna find, like a slip dress. I really, I mean, I always see my girl Karina find them, and I'm like, girl, I wish I was there so I could find me some cute slip dresses. So hopefully that's like definitely like top one. I feel like normally for thrift stores, you, you can normally find like really cool like prints and stuff. So if anything sticks out, Definitely. For sure, I'm looking for slip dresses. Um, also, if I could find like a silk satin um, type of like long shirt, like long button up, like the one that I always wear. I want to find one in another color so I can like finally give that one a rest. <laughs> so let's see. Fingers crossed I find something. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. So the first store that we are at is called Unique um, and hopefully I find some unique things here. <laughs> hopefully I find something 25% off. I'm down at this waistline right below your waistline Want you by my head So I'm seeing a lot of sweaters and the thing is I have a lot of sweaters at home and I feel like I don't really need any more but I'm finding some cute ones but I'm trying really hard to not go for them. Hey this is a cute turtleneck. I'm doing all this face time, need some alone time, baby. You're always running in my mind. Oops. So what I'm finding here is that there's this place is so big. I think right now what I'm just kind of looking at is just just lightly going through the things and seeing if anything kind of just sticks out. Then I'll go ahead and look at it. But I think like in order to like really go through everything, they probably would be here for like a really, really long time. So I'm just kind of scanning, seeing if anything catches my eye. But I also know that one thing I definitely lack in my wardrobe is solid colored items. So that's also something that I'm looking for. Um, thus far I only found one little thing. I'm gonna see what else we can find. Something else that's really different compared to the Korean thrift stores that I've been to is that you see a lot of shoes here. There are some places that do sell shoes, but not like a like a super huge selection. And here there are so many different shoes. And now I'm kind of like, should I look through all these shoes? <laughs> or just keep going looking through clothes, I guess. I'm also like, do I look for anything that I can like thrift flip? Because my mom does have a sewing machine. But I don't know. Good day dreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. Can't spend time alone. Give you my hoodie just so you can smell my cologne. Te gusta? Más o menos. Don't like all this distance. I want you close. I'm definitely trying to resist grabbing this because I already have a plaid jacket like this. So, this is what Lil Ma found. Vuela, vuela, mami. Vuela, vuela. So missing your existence. Fill my head with some clouds, baby. Look 
how cute this dress is, but it's so small. That like fits my thigh. Oh my God. She's mad cute though. <gasps> Wish I could just cut this and just have it. I feel like, oh God, that singer that sings like, what's going, no, no, no. What? Oh god, she always had like this tall hat. Honestly, I wish this fit me because I think it's really cute. But unfortunately, my head is way too big for this. And I'm currently cutting off blood circulation. But I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> so cute. Uh, I'm going to try these two turtlenecks on. My mom isn't convinced about this one. She says like it just looks a little bit too old. Which I do understand where she's coming from. It, but the color is just really nice. And... I don't know, it just, it went perfect with what I'm wearing today, so that obviously is helping out its case. I don't know, we'll see. So first I have this pleather jacket. I just thought, you know what, like I don't really have something like this in my wardrobe. And I got it because it didn't have anything thicker than a blazer when I was going out. So I thought for the transitioning time from like summer to fall, I thought this was gonna be like a good piece. Okay, so that's why I got it. For the pleather jacket, I went with all black, but then we added a little bit of spice, a little bit of fire with my fire sweater. And I guess it just goes with kind of like the inside. I mean, although this is burgundy and this is red but whatever so i wore my aloha's boots again and some leggings put on some little silver hoops and that was it yeah it was just something simple i mean like this you just put on top of anything you know what i'm saying i don't really find this as something that would like complete my look but rather just an additional layer so yeah so that was this look when i saw this blazer my heart was like <gasps> Oh my God, I need it. I already know I already have a blazer that's kind of like this, but I just like immediately, cause we were getting into fall time. I was like, this is just all the fall colors. I mean, I knew I just had to get it. And on top of that, the price wasn't that bad either. This one is a little bit more fitted than my other one that I have. So I think that's why it was a really good piece. They have these little pockets. I love the lining inside. And yeah, I just thought it was going to fit perfectly with my wardrobe. Alrighty, so for this look, I was thinking, all right, why don't we go ahead and continue on with the neutrals but then i was like you know what i feel like that's just really easy to do so instead what i did is i paired it with this red crop top now there isn't actually like red red in the blazer but i think because of the orange and the burnt orange that's there it just still goes and i paired it with these corduroy pants that i love so sorry that they are all like squished and like as i want to say chunky chunyu paired it with these white boots for me it's kind of like all right i'm trying to be a little bit more neutral but then it's like sight because of that red crop top kind of pops up just a little bit so that's what i like about it here we have this beautiful turtleneck i love the color obviously turtlenecks are basics that you have to have in your wardrobe for for fall and winter time and I just think it was a really nice uh, change in that basic because it's a colorful one so what's not to love all right so for this look I feel like I'm giving a lot of uh, mystery machine <laughs> kind of vibes if I had like an orange scarf or something that would have been perfect let's have some fun with some color so I paired it with this green satin skirt the colors go like perfectly together then I just added in this baby blue moto jacket and this like muted pale kind of blue for my shoes this was definitely not intentional but Sometimes it's really fun to base your outfits off of characters or just things that you love. That was our look. Now on to the next one. Let's have a moment to just absorb the beauty of this dress. Oh my fucking God. If you guys saw my Upstate New York vlog, you will see where this is from. I was like, this is so beautiful. Then I looked at the price though. Okay, let me tell you, this thing was, can you guess? I'm gonna give you three choices. I mean, I feel like you already know what price this is gonna be because it's me. But yes, this was only 28 freaking dollars. This has to fit me. This has to fit me. There is no way that this is 20 bucks. It says like vintage dress. Like the quality, it is stunning, okay? The beadwork is beautiful. The fact that there isn't even like one that's missing or one that I can see, amazing. So I went ahead and tried this on. Lewis zipped me up and it was like, it felt like a glove. I was like, <gasps> when 
will I ever wear this? I don't know. And right now, I definitely miss a chance. I went to a wedding. I should wear a dress. I was not thinking clearly. Just like the, the halter, like everything is beaded beautifully. So I was initially going to pair it with the longer twice shy earrings that I have, the long like rhinestone ones, but I didn't want it to snag on anything. So instead I went with some pearls. Obviously this pearl and these pearls are different colors, but I just thought, you know, it's going with the whole pearls. So let's put that on. I don't really know if the nude shoes were the best way to go. I even tried it with like my black heels, but I don't know, I just wanted something that gave me a little bit more height. Anyways, I am ready to wear this. So please let there be an event. I'm gonna manifest the event that I gotta show up to stunt and I'm gonna be wearing this dress. Here we get to this freaking awesome printed button up. Can you believe, can you believe I almost left this because I was like, Natalie, do you need another button up in your wardrobe? Not really. I know a lot of these other things. I was like, oh, you know, I don't have anything like this. I don't have anything like this. Do you have a button up that is of similar colors? But I just thought the print was so freaking cool that I was like, I can't say no to that. I love the details on the sleeves and on the collar itself. I think it puts it all together. So I'm really happy I got this. I apologize for all the change in lighting, but I filmed one portion and then one another portion, da 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 da. Anyways, so I finally brought out a beret for a look, especially because I wanted to do some print clashing. I decided to pair this button up with these pink polka dotted pants. Thought the colors are relatively the same. Now it does have the additional color of black and obviously there's no black on here, but what do we do when we need to make up for a lack of uh, one color and certain thing? That's right, we add in the accessories so that that's why I went ahead with some black strappy heels, which I won't be showing because my feet are crusty and dusty right now. And of course, a black beret. I did decide to go on with still a little bit more color for my earrings. Overall, I really, really love this look. I think it is so freaking cute. Next, we have this, uh, what print is this? Checkerboard. I wanna say Dash Down, that's not it. Um, Dutch. <laughs> No. It's really interesting how much I've been into blazers. Back in university, I was so, so into blazers. And then there was a point where I was like, I don't like them, but I was just styling them incorrectly. So I wasn't able to like fully love them again. But now that I know what I want, yeah, I'm really happy that I picked this up. It's slightly oversized. It does have shoulder pads. And this also hits me at a good length. So it's not like super cropped. One thing though I have to note is that after washing it, honestly, I don't remember if these holes were already there, but look, I just how messed up this is. <gasps> Looks like I went freaking like She-Hulk while I was wearing this. Uh, I promise you I did not. I am not an expert seamstress. I would like to say like, oh, I'll just, you know, change the lining. Girl, you don't got them skills. Maybe later on I might. I still thought it was really cute and I'm still really happy that I bought it, so yay. Houndstooth. It's houndstooth, right? <laughs> Sorry. Again, I wanted to do like a print clashing. So that's why I went ahead and paired it with this polka dotted dress from Zara. And of course, my Aloha's black boots. That is the boots of the year, for sure, for sure for me. Overall, I just really like how this outfit looks like. I thought this would be a nice little alternative to my normal colorful looks. I do plan on doing like maybe a week of wearing no color. <laughs> a week of wearing just, I guess, neutral colors. Let me know if you guys are interested. So uh, let's get to the next look. Here is this super cute reversible sun hat that I got at Unique Thrift. It makes you feel really happy. I kind of feel like strawberry shortcake, especially right now with what I'm wearing. <laughs> Aisley print on one side and the other side, they're little flowers. So what's not to love? I mean, I just wanted another type of sun hat because I really feel like I was playing out my green ones and it was only like a dollar I think. We get to our final look. Initially I was going to make this outfit super colorful and the colors be taken from the hat but then I was like mm. <laughs> so instead what I thought I'd do is just pair the sun hat with a fairly casual look. A pair of jeans, just a white Uniqlo heat tech and some booties. Put on the sun hat on top of it. Even though it's a sun hat I was like ah oh, can you still wear this when it's not like summertime? So I made this outfit in hopes that you could kind of see that a sun hat works for other seasons of clothing style. Oh my God, my head. Anyways, I think you guys understand what I'm trying to get at. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> it was really fun. I haven't been back here in like five months and doing like, like a sit down video. So this was nice. So while I fix myself something to eat, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this footage in. So hopefully this video will be out like 
ASAP. So I will catch you guys in the next one. I hope this video finds you safe. Hope you are doing well. Happy New Year. And that's it. See you in the next one. I think I already said that, but whatever. Bye.